this darkness for far too long now Wanna tear down the curtains, let the sun shine in Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to my redo <laughs> of my uh, Sims 4 Create a Sim for Hannah Baker from 13 Reasons Why. So, if you were early to the first video, you'll realize that it's now gone. I already uploaded this video, and it's now deleted. It is no more. It's not on my channel anymore. And um, I will go into depth about, about why. This video is going to be very candid, me talking. It's going to be very candid. It's not going to be, like, really edited. So just prepare yourselves for that. I'm probably going to be all over the place here. But um, so this is a television series, 13 Reasons Why. Um, it's a new television series on Netflix. And um, if you are very young or if you are easily triggered by subjects like that talk about suicide or talk about sexual assault then I would advise you to maybe stop the video here and um, not finish it and for those of you who still want to watch and are still interested please feel free to continue watching so the first video I uploaded um, the whole reason I'm remaking this first of all is because in the first video somebody commented and it's not just because this one person commented like because i was thinking it kind of myself and then this person just kind of validated it for me so thank you <laughs> you know who you are i believe so a person commented and she said you know i really love the creative sim i think you did a good job of making her but i'm kind of disappointed because you know you didn't talk about suicide or suicide prevention and it's true because I didn't know how to and it's like it's a very it's a very kind of see like awkward isn't even the right word like I'm trying to think of the right word it's just it's a very dark subject it's a very serious dark thing and it's not it's a hard thing you know I was inspired to make this creative sin because I was inspired by the character of Hannah I was not inspired by what she did if that makes sense um because the character of Hannah commits suicide. And I don't want to glorify that. I don't want people to think that I love this show about this girl who committed suicide. Because it's... It gets so warped. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to glorify suicide. I'm not trying in any way, shape, or form to do that. So I just want to put that out there. And say that I don't, I don't condone suicide at all whatsoever. So I just want to say that. I was inspired by the show itself for showing people how to talk about it for for you know showing people how it happens and how we affect people every day without realizing it how we can influence someone so much that they could even make a decision like this like it's it's very crazy and very deep and wild and I'm sorry if this is very dark for you because I know some of you probably do watch my channel to get away from the dark stuff in your life and that's kind of another reason why I didn't talk about a lot about suicide or suicide prevention in the first video, because I have gotten a lot of people in the past say, you know, I really love watching your channel because it's always positive and it's always funny and you're always making me laugh. And, you know, I don't have to think about the things I'm going through that are really hard and sad for just like 20 minutes a day. And I was thinking about that when I made the first video. I was thinking about, oh my gosh, I don't. I just want to make people laugh. I don't want to make people sad. I don't want people to feel upset or scared or get into a dark place in their minds if they come to my channel to laugh or feel good about themselves. So I was thinking about that. I was thinking about like really young kids because I know there are probably like some nine or 10 year olds that watch my videos. And I was worried that it was going to be too much of a, of a, too dark of a topic for them and I don't know I it's like I try to cater to everybody that watches my videos like all my viewers but it's just not gonna happen like you know like I'm gonna like some people will like this me being real right here and talking about a very dark subject and some people some people might not and that's okay but at the end of the day I need to feel I need to be able to sleep at night feeling like I talked about what I was supposed to talk about 
So that is why I'm here again. If you're even watching this video for a second time, props to you because I had that video up for over like probably an hour or two and so the first one. So um, if you're not watching it again, you know, it's okay. Um, but if you are, I hope you're proud of me because I would never want to disappoint you guys. And I think I'm going to get emotional <laughs> because that's not what I try to do. I always try to be just be positive. And I ended up talking in the first video about my, my office and how I was redecorate. I was going to decorate my own office. And at the end of the day, who cares? Like it's, it's, it's so, it was so like materialistic, which isn't me. That's not me <laughs> at all. And like in the grand scheme of things, you know, choosing between the color blue and yellow for my office is not a serious subject matter. It's just not, <laughs> especially when I'm talking about when I'm making a creative sim about someone who like a character who committed suicide. It just doesn't, it just, it didn't mesh well at all. And when I watched the video back before I uploaded it, I kind of thought that, but then I was hoping that, I don't know. I just, I uploaded it anyways. And then that's when someone commented pretty much what I was thinking anyways, which was, you know, maybe I should talk about suicide more and suicide prevention. So, so yeah, this is a very real subject. This is very real. This happens. This is, it's permanent. It's, it's so real. And, you know, like, I think, like, I was able to, you know, I, like, I made a mistake in my last video. So I was able to delete it. I was able to just delete it off my channel and then remake it and re-upload it and you can't do that in real life <laughs> like about real like about your life like you can't just delete yourself re-upload yourself it's kind of weird to explain it like that but it got me thinking like i was able to just delete this video and then come back and you know and i think about how i believe the the girl who plays hannah baker was interviewed and i haven't finished the show yet by the way so no spoilers in the comments please because i have not finished 13 reasons why i'm so close but i haven't finished it but the girl who plays her said something like, you know, you have a beautiful life ahead of you. You have so many things that you can't even foresee right now because, you know, you're, like you're in this really dark place in your life and you just can't see all of the good, amazing things you're going to have, the amazing life you're going to have. And if you end it, if you decide to go now, you'll never get to see it. You'll never get to see, you know, the amazing life you'll have someday. So I kind of wanted to go off of that quote because I think it is very real. Like, you know, suicide is it's permanent. And what you're going through right now in your life isn't. Even if it feels like the end of the world, even if it feels like nothing's going to change, it's all temporary, you know? And so I don't know. I just wanted to touch on that a bit. And if you are watching this and I know that maybe there aren't as many of you feeling this way or not I don't know but for those of you who may be might be watching this video who feel like you have no way out who feel like nothing is gonna get better you feel stuck you feel like you just you feel hopeless and helpless it gets better and it sounds like such a generic cliche statement I'm talking from experience. It gets better. It gets better. I promise you guys, it will get better. When I was a teenager, I went through some depression and stuff. Um, not to get too into that. Like, I don't want to talk about me, me, me. So just trust me. I have a beautiful life right now. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a beautiful life. And I'm so glad I'm here to see it. So. <laughs> I'm getting so emotional, <laughs> but just if you or someone you know is feeling like this and you're thinking about suicide, please, please stay, please stay and don't do it. I'm going to leave some links in the description for those of you who um, might be having thoughts of suicide and I hope you all appreciate my real talk in this video. And I hope you all have a great day. If it's not a great day, make it a great day. And I love you all so much. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.